once I got all the legs shaped on the router table, it was time to do some sanding. In a previous episode, I had removed the decorative bevels that I had originally put on the front of the case. So now I'm creating separate beveled pieces that will be glued onto the front of the case. After a little cleanup, I mitered and glued the decorative bevel pieces back onto the front of the cases. I intentionally made the bevel pieces a little wider so I could trim them flush on the router table. This stuff is great for padding towards the end of the project when you're getting ready to sand. With the legs and cases finely sanded, it was time for assembly. I used a thin scrap of plywood to create a simple template for drilling the screw holes. Remember, I made two bedroom sets with a total of four nightstands and 16 legs to attach. So it's forcing me to think about increasing the efficiency wherever I can. I've been trying to replace all the Phillips head screws in my shop with these Torx head screws. I really like these, and I like the fact that they're readily available at my local big box store.
screws firmly held the legs in place until the glue dried. This allowed me to immediately remove the clamp and move on to the next set of legs. Next up, building and installing the drawers and drawer fronts. See you later.